Hi, how's it going? Charles Boatston, founder of Boatston Properties International. We made it to the last video. I can't believe this. This is crazy. We went over a lot. We, obviously, the pricing strategy, how to market it, how to deal with brokers, how to host open houses, how to sell. We're going to now talk about a little bit more about the statistics behind uh, brokerage use and things that I didn't even know about until I actually started looking it up. And these statistics are the National Association of Realtors. So in 2001, the amount of people using brokers, both sides, listing and buyer brokers were at 70 percent and the reason it was at 79 percent because there was no internet today it's at 89 percent more people are actually using brokers which is insane 88 percent are now using a broker an increase from 69% in 2001. So 2001, 69% of the people were using a buyer's broker. Now they're 88% are using a broker to purchase a home. For sale by owners, this is crazy. For sale by owners, the amount of for sale by owners used to be 14% in 2001, which was the high. Now it's only 8%. So it's down the amount of for sale by owners. And then they have the statistic which, you know, whatever you think of it, 13% higher purchase price when you use an agent. So I was just bringing that up, honestly, because I didn't even know that. With the advent of the internet and since Street Easy and everything else, a lot of the brokers in the community are like, oh my God, it's Street Easy. You know, we're out of a job. I'm like, good, yeah, you shouldn't be in the industry anyway. Like I've said, there's only about 10% of the brokers that are necessary. The rest of the agents, about 90% of them, they're not that good. They don't know what they're doing. They're unprofessional. They don't know how to market. They don't bring any more value. It's then they discount and then they're seen as a commodity, just like oil or water or coffee. It's like Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, McDonald's. Are they all the same? I don't know. They charge different. It's the value that that broker is bringing. The reason being is that back in the day, 15 years ago, they wanted to save money. Now, people want to save time. Like I said before about Uber, they guarantee that a cab is downstairs, downstairs waiting for you. If you go downstairs and you walk out onto the avenue or you walk out onto the street and there's no cab there and you put your hand up, you're not guaranteed a cab. You're not guaranteed that you're going to be able to get where you are to where you want to get. Uber sells you that convenience. Uber sells you time. 90% of the agents feel that Street Easy, they have to reduce their fees when in fact I look at it and I say, you have to increase your value. You have to get better. You know, there's a saying in the Japanese culture called Kaizen. Some people in America call it Kanai. Kanai, which is constant and never ending improvement. In Japan, it's Kaizen, which is every single day, you just get a little bit better, a little bit better. So a little bit about us is I was in finance and I didn't like what I did. I actually hated what I did. They announced layoffs and I said, please put me on the list. And I wasn't on that list. I went to a boss's 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 boss, someone very high up in the company. And I said, can you put me on that list? They said, what? Do you understand what's going on? Eight million people just lost their jobs. Four million people are in foreclosure and you want to volunteer to be laid off? I said, yeah, actually I do. I'll never forget it. The guy stands up, he closes the door, he turns around, very tall guy, won't say his name, still remember him. And he's looking down at me, he's about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and he says, what are you gonna do, son? And I said, I don't know, but it's not this. So he said, all right. So he goes through the list, he puts me on the list, I get laid off, I get a two month parachute, which was really nothing. The first month I was like, what do I do? I have no idea, there's no jobs. I'm like, all right, let me get my license. Got my license, started at a small firm. Then I got recruited to Halstead Property. You probably know them as the Green H. They have about a thousand agents. I became a top downtown broker. They weren't embracing social media. They weren't embracing video. So they weren't embracing the internet in general and change and where it was going and street easy. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do this on, a, do this on my own. So I started BPI, Boatston Properties International, in the early 2014. Since then, we've never looked back. We've had year over year success. And honestly, we, to, we have a system that works. That's what it is. We have a system that works. We embrace technology. We love automation and we do what we're best at. We don't do the pushing paperwork and, and all the things that don't make real estate sell. We do the things that make real estate sell. The number one thing that we bring besides professionalism is we bring a huge Rolodex. 33,000 agents, 32 million people. We have 8,000 people additionally who live in New York City who are on our mailing list. We also have 5,000 people socially that we target. We make a professional video get, that gets thousands of views. Not only does it get thousands of views, the amount of times that people have contacted me for a showing or was that an open Open house and they made an offer and the only reason they actually came to that open house or the only reason that they actually inquired about the showing request is because of the video and then they make an offer is incredible video is the future it makes them want to see the home and I'll just end with this is that for myself I wasn't the ideal student but when I graduated college I found something called books I've read a book a week on average, since 20 years old, 21 years old, it has honed in my skills on how to sell and obviously how to deal with people, which is influencing. This is literally just a snippet of what we offer. 
We would love to talk a little bit further. Give us a call, reach out to me personally. My email is charles at boatinston.com. Have an amazing day. Look forward to talking further. Again, Charles Boatinston, founder of Boatinston Properties International. Look forward to speaking more. Talk to you soon.